Italy has long been considered a special place by visitors and travel experts, to the point where it is now de facto on everyone's bucket list. It's safe to say that Italy's offerings are unmatched, renowned for its incredible food, rich historical sites, esteemed art, charming small towns and picturesque cities, countrysides and coastlines. Here are the top 10 places in Italy that you should visit. Number 10, Lake Como. On your upcoming vacation, Lake Como is the place you want to be if you really want to treat yourself. Here, luxurious hotels and villas line the coastline, and sandy beaches entice sunbathers. The middle lake, where you'll see Svalte sailboats and speedboats coasting, is the ideal place to take in the area's hills. Visit a grand villa in the area for a lesson in luxury while you wait. Popular choices among tourists include Villa Melzi de Real, Villa Carlota, and Villa Belbiano. Later, explore the magnificent Como Cathedral, which combines Gothic Renaissance and Bork architectural elements. Number 9. Naples, Italy Even though the third largest city in Italy is bursting at the city with history, art, architecture, and delectable cuisine, it gets a bad rap for its crimes and grittiness. While these imperfections are unavoidable for locals, especially when it comes to tourism, they are far from common to be rewarded with truly breathtaking views if you choose to physically seek out higher ground in locations like Certosa and Hueso de Santa Martino, you can begin to sense some of the magic that the sport city has to offer by strolling along Via Carciolo and Longomare de Napoli, or striking up a conversation with the welcoming locals. Of course, you must not forget the transcendence that comes with that first bite of Neapolitan pizza in a city known for inventing pizza, or that perfect sip of espresso. To judge a city by its rough edges, you'll miss out on its real treasures, which include underground frescoes, royal palaces, Tuscan architecture, and much more. Number 8. Sicily Imagine yourself on a tropical island where there are steaming volcanoes in the distance and gentle waves crushing onto sandy shores. To that picture, add lush rolling hills topped with ancient ruins like those find nearby in Luxor, Egypt, the Valley of the Kings. Then you need to picture the mouthwatering flavors of fresh seafood, decadent pasta dishes, and sweets. This is Sicily, a pleasant, carefree haven with an Italian mentality, particularly evident in its cuisine and zest for life. The Thithinian, Mediterranean, and Ionian seas circle the sizable triangular island, which also happens to be the largest island in the Mediterranean. It's located at the toe of Italy's boot. Number 7. Capri a small island of crappy's craggy cliffs and pristine waters appear to have been plucked straight out of mythology and dreams. We can understand why the seductive sirens offer was so alluring since it is rumored that this is a location where they sang to Odysseus and his sailors in Homer's The Odyssey. Capri is a paradisical location, every bit as beautiful as depicted in artistic renderings, with bright green trees and gardens, as well as colorful marinas and squares. Since Roman times, the quaint retreat in the Bay of Naples has been a popular destination for royalty and famous people. Hence, it's home to world-class restaurants, stunning hikes, five-star hotels, and chic shops. If you visit Capri for a day trip or for a month-long vacation, you'll fall in love with its laid-back charm. By boat, you can explore this southern Italian island's natural wonders. While circumventing the island, visitors can see attractions such as the Blue Grotto, Green Grotto, and Fergaloni. However, you can also have a good time on land. The winding streets of Capri and Anacapri are lined with shops, historical attractions, and restaurants. Marina Grande and Marina Piccola are two picturesque beaches on either side of the island. There are multiple museum complexes that showcase Capri's history. You can also make the chairlift up Monte Solero or hike to the natural art if you enjoy getting outside. Make sure you bring your camera since you're going to want to remember your trip to Capri forever. Number 6. Tuscany The idea that Tuscany was indeed a place of romance, Chianti wine, olives, aromatic cooking, and of course sunshine was deeply ingrained in our minds when the film adaption of Francais Maze Under the Tuscan Sun came out in 2003. These days, a lot of tourists come to the magnificent area in northwest Italy to escape the bustle of Milan or Rome and instead enjoy the Italian countryside. A combination of majestic cypress trees, cascading hills, expansive vineyards, and castles that have been converted into hotels is simply divine. In this immunodelic, idyllic setting, time seems to pass more slowly. And but better way to unwind under the Tuscan sun than by enjoying a glass of wine with some homemade gnocchi. Number 5. Cinque Terre. St. Thierry is a collection of five vibrant seaside towns along Italy's northern Liguarian coast. Mana Arola, Montesero, Venaza, Corniglia, and Rio Magari, the oldest town in the area. Mana Arola was beautiful olive groves, vineyards, and a bell tower that dates back hundreds of years. Renaza, meanwhile, is well known for its 
pictured perfect homes and imposing medieval castle. It's frequently regarded as one of Italy's most beautiful villages. From boat tours and hiking to cooking classes and wine tastings, the Cinque Terre has a wealth of exciting things to do. Keep some time aside while you're here to explore the footpath, Montesero Trail, a lovely hiking route that connects Granaza and Montesero. It runs along the edge of a cliff. Number four, Amalfi Coast. Travelers agree that navigating the narrow, heart-stopping turns on the way to the cliffside, Amalfi Coast, is part of the fun. There are 13 vibrant seaside towns in the area, each with its own unique history. The region has more than 30 miles of coastline. The most well-known locations, Pociano and Amalfi, home to many hotels and tourist attractions. While visiting, go hiking, unwind on the beach, and eat as much as you want. There are multiple Michelin-starred restaurants along the Amalfi Coast. Consider Atrani if you want something more unusual. This modest fishing community is known for its whitewashed medieval buildings, narrow streets, and genuine Italian charm. Number 3. Florence This tiny city, hidden along the Tuscan hills, has been a significant historical impact. Florenzi, or Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance, protected the wealthy Medici family and served as a source of inspiration for artists like Michelangelo and Brusnelli. You might mistakenly believe that you have returned to the 14th century if it weren't for the stylish Italians and upscale stores lining Via Tornaboni. Florence is not only visited for its Renaissance art, it's also known for its romantic charm, delicious Italian cuisine, and stunning sunsets. Let a local show you around on one of Florence's top tours to make the most of your time there. Number 2. Venice Venice is magical. Although it may sound cliché, you'll undoubtedly agree once you see the city from the water. The stunning Grand Canal will soon greet you as you exit the Santa Lucia train station. The Ponte di Gleli Scalzi, Bridge of the Bare Foot, will be passed by water taxis as they glide by. And you might catch the tiniest whip of Bob Island playing softly. Or is that just your imagination? It might not just be your imagination. Gondola drivers are known to sing when the occasion calls for it as they glide through the maze of the city's numerous waterways and romantic gondolas carrying smitten couples. On land, winding lanes passed by the old world homes and storefronts and cross bridges. Getting lost here is the norm, so embrace the disorientation or hire a local to guide you by signing up for one of the best Venice tours. The main attraction of this canal-clad city is its magical atmosphere, but you'll also find quite a few diversions. At St. Mark's Basilica and Doge's Palace, you'll find some great historical information. The Gallery dell'Accademia displays works of Tidian, Varancia, and other famous Venetians, and the Teatro La Fenice hosts some world-renowned operas. Additionally, you can visit nearby islands like Lido for its beach, Morano for its glass, or Burano for its lace. Number 1. Rome Rome, the seven-hilled city, has a legendary beginning. According to legend, the twin brothers Romulus and Remus, fathered by a war god, nursed by a she-wolf, founded the Eternal City. And while some historians are dubious about the historic entry into the world, most tourists are adamant that Rome has a special quality. Roma never fails to enchant, whether it's the mystique of the nearby Vatican City or the ghosts of the Colosseum, a relaxing afternoon coffee on Piazza Novano, or a heaping plate of pasta at a trattoria. Rome, the capital of Italy, is renowned for its long history and includes the reigns of Octavian, Julius Caesar, and Hadrian. Among other historical treasures, buildings like the Pantheon, the Roman Forum, and numerous churches were left standing. The Vatican museums are home to a treasure trove of artwork. Gourmet foodies will adore the delicious Italian cuisine. Not to mention the gelato. Rome is also a fast-paced, modern, and relevant city. With gleaming designer storefronts, chic hotels, and cutting-edge restaurants. Even though its historic past attracts many tourists. And there you have the top 10 places you need to visit in Italy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the virtual tour of this city.